Good afternoon everybody, I am Stephen James Peter Johns or Stephen J3026 as some people might know me or North South Life or whatever the hell you know me by Now I'm going to start today on a high note um, then get into the serious stuff and then we'll end on a high note again Now, last night I was bored I was bored stiff sat in here 8 o'clock last night I thought I'm going to town for a bit. So I went to get the bus to Asda. It was late. And then a bus driver I know turns up, Rich. So I stood talking to him for a bit. And he goes, oh, you, what you got up to do? Not really. So I went for a run to Stansted Airport and back with him. Now, we're there. Quiet journey. Normal thing. Um, on the way back, got a bit busier, you know, with obviously... Um, Stewards and stewardesses getting off the flights and going home and whatever. Nothing, you know, nothing unusual about that. Gets to Stortford, sees a punch up. Bit of excitement, wasn't it? Then goes on the diversion route. And then we get to Sarbor, like Sarbridgeworth. And loads of people got on. Then this one lad, I'm stood in the buggy bay. Letting people on, then I'd go and stand back at the front. I'm stood in the buggy bay. This lad gets on. I know you. You're Stephen James Peter Johns. Your name is Stephen James Peter Johns. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, and his mates were like, what? I know him. Stephen James Peter Johns. What? What's your name? I'm Stephen James Peter Johns. That is my name, yeah. Turns out, I've been spotted from one of my videos. Because, in a previous video, I'd done a shout out. To Jessica Ellis, hello, Gemma Shelton, hello, and Hannah Donkin, hello, and yeah, turns out the lad who spotted me was Jessica's boyfriend, Ed Howe. How are you doing, Ed? Give you a shout out. I know you got a selfie with me last night as well, didn't you? You wanted that, so you got one. Same for anyone else if they see me out. If you want a photo with us, just say. I mean, I know I'm not exactly that famous, am I? But you know. But well, yeah, it made my night that. That really did make my night. I just didn't expect to get spotted. You know what I mean? Especially on a bus at, what? What time did they get to Sarbo? About quarter to midnight last night. Didn't expect to get spotted. Let alone on the bus of all places. You know what I mean? Everybody who knows me, you know, come on, I'm a bus spotter. But yeah, that's that's the high note that we're starting on. Now, since I want to get a bit more serious, I haven't got any music on today, as you can see. No music, because, you know... I was just thinking the other day of a story that I could tell. Well, I've got a couple. Um, first things first, like, you know, me, round Harlow, okay. I sometimes get abused because, you know, I'm a big lad and I've got a belly. You know, at the end of the day, it shouldn't affect who I am. It doesn't affect my personality or anything like that. But there's some shallow-minded people out there. Who like to take the piss and, you know, call me a fatty bum bum, fat bastard, fat cunt, you know, whatever. And, yes, at times it gets me down. Some days I, I will just sit in here and I'll be like, you know, thinking about things and, you know, thinking, well, what's, what's the point of life? You know, what is the meaning of life? 42. Mr. Henson told me that. Don't know why, but meaning of life is 42. Um... <laughs> But, you know, it's just, just get me down a bit and, you know, why do people have to be so cruel and shallow? You know, okay, I'm not, I'm not Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp or Owen Wilson or anyone like that, am I? No, I'm not Peter Andre either. I'm me. I don't look like Vernon K either. In fact, if anybody said, what, who you look more like, Vernon K or Peter K? 100% people would say Peter K. I'm fat. I don't give a shit. I'm past caring now. I've gone through all the phases of the bullying and letting it get me down and all that bullshit. I've gone through that. I'm done. You know, if you want to call me fat, call me it. But if you're going to say something about me, if you're going to call me fat, a fat cunt, a fat bastard, whatever, at least have the guts to say it to my face. Yeah? At least have the guts to say it to my face. Don't just say it behind my back. Because behind my back, you're a coward. To my face... Chances are, I would actually give you credit for it, for being honest. But, yeah. 
So that was that. And on the thing of shallow people and, you know, people not giving a shit and whatever. A while ago, I haven't told this before. Um, a while ago, I was walking through the town centre. I'm not going to mention any names or anything. And I come down an alley. Now, down an alleyway, there was a fight going on. Uh, this is about 11 o'clock at night. There was a fight going on. And I was on my own. I'll admit I was on my own. This bloke saw me and legged it. Now, I could tell he'd been beating up this other bloke. The bloke was laid on the floor, bleeding quite badly. Now, at that point, I could have ran after the bloke, caught him and then rang the police. Or, do I stay with a bleeding block on the floor? Of course, me being me, stayed with a block on the floor, because he was bleeding. You know, you don't leave somebody like that. So I left them around the place, whatever, give them the description and all this lot. I later found out, after that, you know, I obviously made sure he was alright, got him to hospital, whatever. Got thanked off him and whatever, you know, because that's who I am, you know, I care too much. And I later found out, there'd been a few people down the alleyway that night. All stepped over and just ignored the fight. Ignored the fight, left the block bleeding. Who does that? Who does that? You know, it's shocking. You don't do that. If you see somebody who needs help, help them. You know, help them. Don't just ignore them. You know, it's horrible. I mean, I know this isn't exactly in the same calibre, but even last night I was stood at the bus stop, 8 o'clock at night, okay, it's dark. And okay, I was wearing a hoodie, so, you know, I know what people think about hoodies in the dark and all this lot. I stood at the bus stop, this woman walks past. And I said, oh, good evening, you all right, hello. Nothing. She just clutched onto her bag even more. And I was like, I'm not exactly going to mug you, love. You know, that annoyed me last night. And some of you are saying I put a status on here, on Facebook. And it annoyed me. But, you know, it's the society we're living in, it. If somebody says morning to you, or, you know... Just give them a smile, no matter where you live. I live near London. And okay, I know people don't exactly smile near London and all this lot. Do it. Brighten up somebody's day. Brighten up your own day. Don't just be miserable and don't just, you know, put your head down when you see somebody like, oh God, there's somebody there. Just pop your head up and smile. Morning, you are alright? Simple. Or even at the bus stop, somebody sits next to you. Oh, you're alright. Strike up conversation. It's not hard, is it? It ain't hard. But, yeah, just be nice. It's much easier to be nice and smile than it is to be evil, isn't it? It's much nicer to be nice than it is to be evil and ignore people and be horrible and, you know, whatever. So, just think of that next time you see somebody, who you might not know, who might be a total stranger, but just, morning. Especially if it's an elderly person as well. Just say, morning, you're alright. That could make their day. They might not have anyone to talk to. But just by you saying, morning, how are you? That could make their day. That could brighten the rest of their day. It's as simple as that. It doesn't take a lot, does it? All it is is courteous and manners, that's it. Just like saying, hello, please, thank you, and all that, like when you're in a restaurant or on the bus or whatever. Just do it. It doesn't take a lot, does it? Right, and anyway, since I said I'm going to end on a high note again, um... I have an interview tomorrow for a data entry position in an office in Hodgston, which is just down the road. Now, if I get it, I start the next day. So, I'm quite excited for that. Nervous, but excited. So, tomorrow morning, you might see me in a suit. In fact, shall I go and put my suit jacket on now and give you a view of my suit? Yeah, I think I will. Be right back. Boo! It's me again. Now, this, I'm not going to do my suit up because I don't like it done up and it's a bit tight, but this is how I will look tomorrow at my interview. So, here it goes. Now, I normally have my little black folder with me, so I look professional, walk in there, obviously introduce myself and whatever, and here it goes, who knows? Tuesday, might be starting another job. Might be, might be working in an office on Tuesday, so wish me luck. And 
I'll end this video on a high note again. So thank you all for watching. If you like, if you know if you like this video, please like, comment below, share it if you want. Don't have to, no obligation to. And I'll finish by giving the three, the four shout outs again to my wonderful viewers. We have Jess Carellis. You alright Jess? Hannah Donkin. You alright Hannah? Gemma Shelton. You alright Gemma? And Ed Howe who got a selfie with me last night. You alright Ed? How's it going son? Hope you had a good night last night. Hope you didn't get too pissed. <laughs> but yeah, so it was lovely to get spotted last night. Spoke about the things I was going to speak about. This is my suit for tomorrow. So peace out and who knows, I might do another quick follow up vlog tomorrow to tell you how I got on at the interview. So I'll speak soon all you lovely people. Mwah. Peace man, peace.